I'm Jessica Goddethin. This is your Tuesday evening KRQE.com webcast. Kristen Van Dyke starts us off with the weather. Good evening. We're going to be watching for isolated showers and thunderstorms in the southeastern corner of the state for tonight, mainly before midnight. Some of these could be strong to severe. Everyone else staying dry, but then that moisture is going to work its way across uh, to the central part of the state going into tomorrow. So we could be looking at isolated showers and storms for the central mountain chain and, and all across the eastern part of the state and up into the northeastern part of New Mexico for tomorrow. And then going into Thursday, that moisture shifts back across to the east as drier weather moves in from the northwest. That's going to crank up the winds on Thursday, so we can get a high fire danger day for much of central and southwestern New Mexico with a chance for a few more isolated thunderstorms out east. And temperatures are going to be nice and warm, a little above average here for the next couple of days. Low to mid 90s for the metro tomorrow, low 90s on Thursday, then warmer, then warm and dry over the weekend with more sunshine and highs in the upper 80s. Fresh off a long holiday weekend, Albuquerque students had to come back to school for a final day, a half day at that. And according to the early numbers, a lot of kids didn't bother. APS officials say its computer system shows 81% of students attended class today. But at the same time, the district admits those numbers are way off. There was a network error on APS servers, and many schools didn't hand in accurate attendance numbers before the half day of school was over. Several buses left Highland High School empty. Students tell us their classes were the same. APS says almost 40% of the kids at Highland skipped school today. Today was a makeup day after classes were canceled because of a cold snap in February. APS asked the state for an exemption today, but the state denied it. A state police are investigating if a driver was drinking when he crashed on I-40 just west of Albuquerque this morning. State police say the driver was heading east near Laguna when they believe he may have fallen asleep, then rolled his SUV onto the westbound lanes. One person was ejected and two were trapped. They were heading from Las Vegas, Nevada to Kansas. They were all taken to the hospital. Police have not released their conditions or names. State police closed I-40 westbound as they cleaned up the crash. A witness at the scene says they saw beer cans surrounding the crash scene. State police drew the driver's blood, but will have to wait for results to see if he was drinking. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.